We start off the year 2023 with our January issue of the Book Report. A look back at some of the best reads of the year gone by, along with some coming attractions from critic Ron Charles of the Washington Post. This is the Book Report. Before we say goodbye to 2022, I want to look back and tell you about five of my favorite novels of the year. Barbara Kingsolver has taken Charles Dickens' classic novel, David Copperfield, and transformed it into her own modern-day masterpiece. Demon Copperhead is about a boy in Appalachia trying to make his way in the world while struggling with foster care and opioid addiction. It's as funny as it is heartbreaking, and it's got a voice that leaps right off the page. Young Mungo by Scottish writer Douglas Stewart is a gripping story about a sweet young man falling in love for the first time in a violently homophobic community. To toughen him up, his alcoholic mother sends him on a camping trip with a couple of guys from her AA meeting. Unfortunately, they are not at all what they seem, and you'll wish you could protect young Mungo from what's ahead. For some sharp cultural satire, turn to The Latecomer by Jean Hanf Korolitz. This is a story about wealthy triplets who hate each other and then discover a secret about their father that reorders their lives. Korolitz uses this witty family epic to explore modern art, liberal education, political correctness, and American spirituality while delivering one surprise after another. In 2021, Abdurazak Gura won the Nobel Prize, and this year he's released a new novel in the United States called Afterlives. Set in the early 20th century, it turns the old story of colonization on its head by pushing the Europeans into the background and letting us follow the intersecting lives of villagers in East Africa as they struggle to survive and thrive. Olga Dies Dreaming by Xochitl Gonzalez is a romantic comedy about a very successful wedding planner who can't find a partner herself. Meanwhile, her brother is a popular congressman, a champion for Puerto Rico, who may be slipping into a compromising position. This is a novel about family secrets, national schemes, racial politics, and of course, love. That's it for the book report. I'm Ron Charles. Remember, there are a bunch of great new books coming up in 2023. Here are just a few I'm looking forward to. Thank you.